estate to real estate. It's Money Matters with Dino. Let's talk about this uh, surtax. It's a 3.8% surtax. Mm -hmm. And first of all, what is it? Sure. Um, you know who who is responsible for paying it? Right. Tell me all about it. Sure, sure. So the 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 surcharge tax is on net investment income, and that's defined as gross income, gross passive income. So rents, royalties, dividends, capital gains. So that three point eight percent three point eight percent surtax is on the on that on those amounts. Now, who gets affected by that is based on your income bracket. So the surtax will apply on net investment income if you have income above $200,000 if you're a single individual or $250,000 if you're married. That's when the surtax applies on your net investment income. So to give an example, let's say I'm single, I have $40,000 in passive income, rents and dividends, whatever, and I have $160,000 in W-2 wage income. So now my total income is $200,000. Question is, is that forty thousand dollars subject to the surtax? Answer is no, because the income, because my threshold was under two hundred thousand. In the same example, if I have forty thousand dollars in net investment income, but let's say now I have one hundred eighty thousand dollars in th- business income or W two income, now I'm at two hundred twenty total income. All of a sudden, that forty thousand dollars in investment income is subject to the surtax. So the issue is really about managing your in- total income and then trying to manage the net investment income. 